Hi there. Yesterday, I made a really big deal about this box being delivered. And you'll notice it's not open yet. So if I made such a big deal, why isn't it opened yet? Well, it turns out I had company all day yesterday, and I didn't want to do it late at night when I was tired, uh, because what's in here is so darn special to me uh, that I wanted to be on, uh, be at my peak performance when I, uh, when I got it out. Um, so what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is I've been waiting more than four years for this box to be delivered. You see, what's in this box is a puzzle project uh, that I was lucky enough to be part of, and it's called the Apothecary Chest. And the driving force behind it is a man named Robert Yarger of the Stickman Box Company in Oklahoma. Now, Robert threw this idea out uh, more than four years ago, a call for artists, and said, hey, I want each of you to build a small puzzle box or a small puzzle and send it to him and he would include it in an apothecary chest that itself was a puzzle. The idea being that you'd have to solve the apothecary chest to remove the drawer and then solve the puzzle that's in that drawer or that is that drawer and from there that would allow you to open the next one and the next one and the next one. Um, it was hell getting this thing done. Uh, there were people that were there at the beginning that uh, didn't see it through to the end and we had some replacements. For a while I was afraid I was going to be one of those people. I really struggled with my puzzle box design. But I'm happy to say I did get mine done and it's in here in the apothecary chest and I can't wait to see how it all hangs together. Uh, there are only 15 of these in the world um, and uh, each of the puzzle box makers got a copy so 12 of them went to the makers. Uh, Robert's going to sell a couple of the extras uh, and keep one for himself as well. Uh, and it's on auction right now, uh, and we're all very excited to see exactly what it'll sell for. But uh, you know what? I've waited four years. I, I think it's time. But first, a little fortification. All right, let's see what's in here. Packing peanuts, that's a good thing. Yeah, how am I gonna do this without making a mess? Mm. That looks like instructions of some sort. I'm gonna pull that off. Ah, I thought that was an L. It's a seven. I believe I'm number seven in the uh, apothecary chest project. And indeed, these are some form of instructions. I'm not going to look too close at them now, but I did get an email telling me I should review it a little bit before I try to solve the puzzle um, because of the, uh, understanding how some of it's intended to work. Put that there. Yeah. I try to do this without getting peanuts everywhere. Wish me luck. Oh, that is a heavy puzzle. That's a thing of beauty. Yeah, I can't see it. Oh. Okay. It does not want to give up its treasure. That is a beast, a beast, I tell you. And I'm, there's peanuts everywhere. Okay, I'm all right with that. I'm gonna set this down. Oh, holy cow, what a mess. I don't wanna get that too close to the fire. Put that over there. Okay, Robert, I think you put enough peanuts in here. Let's keep going. I'm a little excited. Oh, oh. I present 
the apothecary chest. So here it is, the apothecary chest. You'll note the 12 drawers making up the chest. Each one of these drawers is a puzzle that was submitted by one of the craftsmen. Mine's up here in the upper corner. I don't know what I'm going to have to do to get that out. Uh, let me give you a quick tour of what I know about the puzzle at this point, although I haven't spent any time trying to solve it. Let's turn here to the side. The sides have uh, some intricate carving on them, don't appear to have any movement, um, but I'll be cautiously paying attention to that as I work through the puzzle. What's really fantastic, you look here at the back of the puzzle box, you can see this intricate gear mechanism that controls the movement of the drawers. The drawers appear to be pistons. As you push one drawer in, other drawer comes out. Uh, and there appears to be some pattern that I'll have to discover that will allow me to release drawer after drawer uh, to work my way through the puzzle. On this side, again, uh, very similar to the other side. No evidence of uh, movement here. Uh, up on the top of the puzzle box, there are some, uh, some pieces here. Let me see if I can show them to you. These appear that they, some of these may move or slide. Uh, it looks like Robert's uh, used screws so that you can actually open the box uh, and see the mechanism on the inside, I'm guessing. Um, and there's uh, parts that move here that are going to do something, I'm sure. Uh, so, four years in the making, uh, 12 craftsmen from around the world. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, I already had a fantastic Christmas. I think I just had a second one. I'm going to go play. Bye for now.